Hi guys, welcome to Sons of Cain. I'm Kev, and this episode is very, very special to us. To tell you why, the Chris. Thanks, the Kev. Uh, we've reached our goal of a thousand subscribers, so we'd like to thank each and every one of you that have subscribed because we never thought we'd manage it, and we have. And you know, it, it's a milestone for us, and we're really appreciative of all the support that you've given us. In aid of this event. We're going to give away a hat, and it's going to be signed by all four of the team. Um, to tell you how to get this hat, what you have to do is email kevin at sonsofcane.com and on the comments of it say, thousand subs, hat to be in the chance to win, but please tell us what colour of hat you would like. As we know, in some areas this colour can be classed as offensive, so we don't want to upset anybody. So if you like a white one, red one, green one, just let us know and if we can get that done for you, we will send it out. Right guys, what we're looking at is a drill. A lot of drills won't work in a street scenario. So what we're going to do is show you the principle behind the drill then moving this on to show you how it will work and how you can train to actually make it work for you. And that's the important thing. Very simple, I think it's Kane Master's Technique number three in the syllabus. I'm not entirely sure on the number, but very straightforward. Dan's gonna step back in a nice, nice position. He's gonna have his arms up and he's, what he's gonna do is step in and do a classic lunge punch because everybody attacks you like this, don't they? To be fair, I've talked to a lot of doormen and trained with a lot of doormen. People do attack them like this sometimes. And I did say, what do you do after you stop laughing? But if he starts to walk in, in reality, I'm, I'm only here. But this is the drill. The drill is he's stepping in, I'm moving out of his attack line, I'm then disengaging his arm. Though this is a fan block, this is a clearance strike. I continue this through and I'm striking his shin and then I can follow up with, I wouldn't do this, but his ribs are nice, back of the knee, he hates it when I jab him in the armpit or um, wet willy in the ear, whatever, it doesn't matter. But usually after the first and second attack, they're clear. So the principle will be getting out of the way whether you can step in a large movement or you're just shifting your body, this is reinforcing your evasion. It is not the block. You will not stop an attack. If he throws the punch now and I try and do that block, he's going to hit me. Unless he's standing 20 feet away and gives me a warning notice. This will be covering and then I'm doing my strikes that I seem fit for the time. So the principal, again, he's going to step in, I'm moving out the way, I've covered, because I can see it coming, striking out the way, striking, whatever it is I decide to do. So Dan is now going to do this technique for me. So he's, he's not familiar with this, so this is why I'm teaching him. So I'm back here, yeah. he's, got, he's ready to go, so he knows he's got to move. See, straight yeah, away, straight, yeah. straight away, and this is why you need to practice. Yeah. So this is going to be your guard, your cover, this is going to be your fan. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming in, he's moving, he's moving round, he's struck, and he's struck. Brilliant. Okay, so Dan, would you feel that would work? I think in a, in a proper scenario, yes, but I don't know. Not in that situation? Not in that situation. Yeah. So what would re the reality would be, he would be here. Mm -hmm. So he would be, we, we're going to do this, but he would be in my face, and then I would, if I'm lucky, I'll see this coming in, he might have grabbed me. But what I'm, what I'm looking for is, I don't want to be hurt. So as he's doing that, I'm covering, I probably won't be able to block it. I may duck, so I've stopped, I've struck, and I'm, I would have to physically push it at this range. I can then do the same technique. So it's going to be from close in. So Dan, come this way a little bit for me, thanks. So I'm going to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm, the one thing that's on the end of this, but we're not going to do it, otherwise we get 
banned from YouTube, I'm going to be shouting in his face and I'm going to be swearing. This would be the last thing you would add on. I'm not going to say, Dear chap, I do believe you're a bit of a rap scallion and I disagree with your associative methods. I'm therefore going to demonstrate my pugilistic skills upon you. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen, is it? They will be there, they'll be shouting and screaming in your face. So I'm here, ready to go. I'm shouting, I'm screaming, I'm throwing the pants, I'm covered. He's struck. He's struck. It doesn't matter. He didn't do the instructed technique. He did the instructed principle. And that's the important thing. With doing that, uh, I always find maybe not doing the instructed technique and doing what feels comfortable. Well, that for me, if that's a big thing for me, especially in karate and Krav Maga. Yeah, so the principal was there, he didn't get hit, he moved out of the way, he saw the available strikes, and then he adapted it. The principal was the foundation, not a set in stone technique. Now, I'm just going to step it up a little bit more. Right, I've got padded up because we're, we're using a live cane, as it were, and... I'm going to go for Dan. So he could put a little bit more oomph into it. Even through this, I'm going to feed it. So he's not going to go 100%. But he's going to do something very specific, which we'll talk about in a second. So this is going to be a slow run. I'm punching. Straightforward. What I want him to do is put a little bit more emphasis on the strikes now. Yeah. So he's moving. He's blocking, he's pushing, keep going, don't ever stop. On through. The other thing he wants to do, so what I want you to do is just go, for, he's going to go through the head uh -huh. and he's going to follow it through and drag it through. So he's going to hit, pull through, same with the chest. Don't stop on the target, otherwise your muscle memory will make yeah. you do this. Yeah. So I can punch him all day and I'm not going through because I've trained for that. What I'm going to do now is make him close his eyes. I'm going to slap him on the chest. Once I've slapped him on the chest, he can open his eyes. Then I'm, he, I'm going to throw the punch. What's happening now is adrenaline's building up and he's getting very, very agitated because we've done this a few times. I don't know what he's going through. It gives you that little bit of advantage. If I was really mean, I'd start shouting at him as well, but I'm not going to do that today. As you can see, he didn't do the technique, he did the principle. And that is what we want. Don't get caught up in set techniques. I know I've said it before, but it is important because it will give you a brain and a log jam. So if we look at the principle, as it's coming through, I want this from here to here. As soon as I've got that, I've then got a dead side, I've got an underside. So with the mini cane, what I'm looking to do is bring it up in one motion. I'm then going to change the cane's position and I'm going to come straight into solar plexus. Is so over? Are you should Go for it. Bring your head down a little bit, mate, because I don't want to catch your nose. I'm going to go from there upwards and then down, drag through, bayonet strike. I'm ready to go again for the next strike. So if we look at the principle again, it might even be just he comes in for a grab. Having this from this distance, on a bone, and you've got two bones that run in your arm, radius and the ulna, even that is going to hurt. But if Chris keeps his hand there, all I'm going to do is about a third speed, all right? Yeah. And a third power. Yeah. You feel it, for it. So this is what you're going to get. So if it's a grab, it's going to release and it's going to shoot the arm up to probably about this height. Now bearing in mind my cane's here now. So I've got a strike under, keep your arm up me, strike under the arm. And as you see from previous videos, if you get your cane in there and push, it really hurts. I've got the strike through to the chest, another strike, I've now got some distance. Again, he's coming in, keep another strike going through. Stay back. If he comes in again, I'm just going to strike through. Principle still the same, although it's now adapted. It's coming up, over. As you can see, Chris is further away now. I've got a stomach strike. Drag through. Straight into another strike. 
So you've almost got number three and number four. Getting the ones and twos in a wheelchair, you can see I'm leaning forward, trying to miss my leg, trying to miss the metal work. So I can hip it. We've got the gallbladder. We've got the knee. We've got the shin if I wanted to. But to be honest, if I put my cane there, that's the lowest I want to hit. And it's roughly about G23. Gallbladder 32. 32. There. Principle's still the same. It's this motion into this motion into that motion. But I've just changed it slightly. I've just gone this motion into that motion, up, then strike through. Whatever is comfortable for you, you use on the dance. Do you want to do the pressure test? Yep. Okay? Ow. You're right. <laughs> As we've done before, closing your eyes, everything changes. You start to wonder when it's going to come, and that first hit, butterflies are in the stomach, I expelled the breath, almost yelled to get that adrenaline going, and then just went with hits. The first hit, I wasn't sure where I'm going. I'm just literally bringing it up in front of my whole body. Get that cleared, then my eyesight's back to normal, I can see where I'm attacking, and off I went. Okay? Okay. Didn't look good. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you like it. Again, as we said, this is the first little bit. We love your comments, so please get them coming and smash that like button. But please be aware, this is number one. There will be loads more, loads of different drills. Even some of the videos that we've done before, we will be going back, re-evaluating, seeing what we've done. Can we do this pressure test? Can we adapt it even further? So keep your, keep your comments coming, but just be informed that this is only the basic level. And don't forget, any person who's going to attack you or you train with, they're all different, so they will react differently as well. So a lot of this is keying on your feet as well. Very important. As always, please hit that notification bell, smash that subscribe button, and I think we should. Free the fear. Big stuff.